It is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, your brother, Oscar York, the voice, on the speaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all-important snap, crackle and pop, in your Christian world. everyone we are so delighted to be with you early this morning here on chatting from the word in the morning and we hope you had a good weekend you had a chance to go praise the lord on yesterday whether you were streaming or you went in person we hope that you did praise the lord yesterday give him some of that love that he's been giving to us all this time because my friend we definitely serve a good God and he's not just good some of the time our Lord he is good all of the time 24-7 yes he is yes he definitely is amen and a amen Oh, my friend, the Lord has definitely blessed us all with another wonderful, wonderful day. We don't miss out of heaven. We don't top soil and not the soil on top of us. Giving all of us another chance. Another chance to make what's wrong in our lives right and to walk closer and closer with Him. My friend, that is just a blessing uh, within itself. That the Lord has blessed us with life and a chance to be here and a chance to make what's wrong All right. Amen and amen. Again, we're so delighted to be with you on this morning and to be able to praise the Lord with you this morning because that's what we do here on Chatting from the Word in the Morning. We praise, praise, praise. The Lord, yes, we do praise Him and praise Him, my friend. Amen and a a man. First of all, I'd like to welcome all you that the first time listeners. We want to welcome you to the program, and we would love for you to know that you are our welcome guest. But you're not only just our welcome guest, but we honor you today. Thank you for having your ears on. Amen. Thank you. And thank you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Brother Oscar, he's just so happy and so blessed that the Lord love me. Oh, yes, I am. The Lord loves you as well. And this good thing for us to love him back and thank him for all his blessing, especially blessing us with a 
another wonderful, wonderful day. Now, you know, at this point, what we do, what we ask for your contributions. And we hope that you can turn in your contributions today. Help us out financially to keep this live program uh, going and going. Help us out now. We need your financial assistance and to bring the word of Christ to a people that don't know Christ. And if you believe that the uh, cross is important, if you believe that the gospel needs to preach all over the world, hey, help us out financially here on Chatting from the Word. Please do that and try to do it today. And if you want to go to send your proceeds, you have a account on PayPal, just pull up the PayPal webpage, paypal.com, and put in an email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Again, that is Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to Zelle, Z E L L E, and again, put in an email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Again, that is Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Do it today. Do it today if you can. And as we continue to say, we, we want to get at least $5, at least $5 to help us keep this uh, fine program going and going. Hey, hey, what's going on? What is going on? What is everyone Listening to what are you listening to? Well, you're listening to Chatting from the Word. And I am his host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the free platform where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all, all important snap. Crackle and pop in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. Amen. And amen. All right, all right, all right. To tell you this morning, good morning, <laughs> we are so delighted to be with you this morning. Yes, we are. And we just want to shout out, give you a shout out, a hey, good morning. But first of all, we want to uh, let you know where we're broadcasting this beautiful, wonderful program from. And if this is your first time listening, that's fine. We're going to tell you anyway that we're broadcasting this wonderful out of sight program from that wonderful out of sight state of Ohio. Yes, we are. Ohio. O-H-I-O is in the house. Yes, they are. Ohioans are listening. And my friend, that is Columbus, Dayton, and my Edmundsburg. Good morning. Good morning to you. And the great state of Illinois, they have their ears on too. And that is the windy city of Chicago. Chicagoans are in the house. Good morning, Chicagoans. Thank you for having your ears on. Amen. And a amen. And then the great state of California. Californians are listening to. And thank you, Californians, for having your ears on. The great state of California. 
California. Amen and amen. And that is Los Angeles, Oakland, and San Pablo. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Amen and amen. And then my homies down there in the Lone Star State of Texas, we love to tell you also good morning, good morning, good morning to you. And that is Houston and Round Rock. Good morning and good morning to you. Good morning to you. Amen and a amen. All right, all right. And also, our brothers across the way there, they're having that is on two. And that is Nigeria. Good morning, Nigeria. Thank you for having your ears on. And that is Gaina. Gaina is in the house. Thank you, Gaina, for having your ears on. And Gaina, Gaina is in the house. Thank you, Gaina, for having your ears on. And India, the great country India, are listening. Good morning, India. Thank you for having your ears on. And that great nation of South Africa, they are listening too. And thank you, South Africa, for having your ears on. Amen and amen. And if you're listening, and we can call your state, country, or city out where you are at, we want to say good morning to you, too. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Amen and a amen. All right, all right, all right, all right. We are moving on. Yes, we are. We are moving on on this wonderful day that the Lord has blessed us with. And now, my friend, it is time for us to do a snapshot of the program today. Snap, 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 snap. To allow you to know what you, we have in store for your listening pleasure or listening time. Because we don't want you to waste your listening time listening to nothing. We want to give you something to listen to here on Standing for the Word. Of course, you heard our introductory song, sung by Wayne Williams. And in a few will be our prayer time. Our prayer time will be in a few. Our first scripture will be found in First Thessalonians 5, 15 through 23. That is First Thessalonians 5, 15 through 23. And of course, Ray's Acapella would be singing Sweet Hour of Prayer. Sweet Hour of Prayer. And, of course, you know we are going to chat this morning with you. Yes, we are. We are going to chat up the Word of God this morning. Are you ready to chat with Brother Oscar this morning about the Word of God? But we hope that you are ready to chat up Christ uh, this morning. And if you've been with us for quite some time, you know we are uh, studying from the letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthians church. And we are in his first letter that he wrote to the Corinthian church. And we are coming out of chapter 10. And I believe we are at the end of verse 12. And I believe 11 and 12, uh, 11 and 12 is where we left off. Maybe 10, 11 and 12 is where we left off last time. And that's what we're going to be studying. And then we, I think we're going to close that out and maybe get a little bit of our next study, 
And next time, we're going to be talking about temptation. We're going to be talking about temptation in our next study. So we might hit a little bit on temptation, but right now we're on the rock of our salvation. The rock of our salvation. And that is what we're talking about here this morning. The rock of our salvation. And my friend, if you want to hear the chat this morning, keep your ears on long enough so that you can hear the rock of our salvation. And my friend, that was your snapshot of the program this morning. Snap, 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 snap. My friend, are you ready? Are you ready to get on board? Are you ready to get on board? The Gospel Explosion. Get on board. Get on board. The Gospel Explosion. And if you have your tickets up, line up, line up, and get your tickets out. And if you're lined up with your tickets up, get on board, get on board. All is on board.
Amen and amen. This is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just send it to my email addresses, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com, or you can send it to Chatting from the Word at gmail.com, or you can put it on any page that you're listening to the uh, program through, or you can put it directly on my Facebook page, and I should be able to receive your uh, prayer request. And as always, if you have a prayer request that you uh, want to keep confidential, that is fine with us here at Chatting from the Word. We do respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, but the Oscar pray for me and call my name. And I'd be so delighted and so blessed to do just that. Again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can use those avenues to get your prayer request uh, to us. And as always, we want to keep your prayers, those that have been requesting prayers, uh, those that are loved ones, those that are going through some difficult time at this time, uh, the Uvalde, Texas parents who lost their babies and mothers and those that lost their mothers and their father. And of course, pray for Russia and Ukraine uh, situation. We pray that that situation get better. And also, we want you to pray for those that try to make a difference in the world when it comes to the gospel of uh, Jesus Christ. Now, a note, and I believe, I just want to put a note here. Uh, I heard on the news that uh, Mr. Putin is, is, is softening up a little bit. At least that's what I heard. Now, I don't know if it's true. Maybe my prayers are working. <laughs> thank the Lord for prayers. I thank the Lord for prayers. And of course, keep your brother here in your prayer, Brother Oscar. Pray for me as I I uh, pray for you. Now, if you have a copy of God's Word and if you want to uh, read along with us, we're well, reading out of First Thessalonians, that is First Thessalonians 5, 15 through 23. That is, again, First Thessalonians 5, 15 through 23. And Paul, Brother Paul the Apostle, Pen these words. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus, Concerning you, quench not the spirit, despise not prophecies, prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit, spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Paul says, pray, pray without ceasing. And my friend, this nation today do need our prayers. We that can give a prayer up to God. We that have, we that talk with God from a, on an everyday basis, we need to talk with Him today. For this nation, in which we are living in. Are you ready, my friend, to approach the throne of grace so that we may find help in time of need? Let us approach our Father in prayer. Our Father, our most righteous righteous father father we come to you on this 
beautiful day that you have blessed us with. First of all, Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you and thank you, Father, for watching over us on last evening as we slept and slumber. Woke us up to the day to the day that none of us on this side of heaven never experienced before. But Father, we just thank you for each hour, each time, each day that you give us. So that we can make what's wrong in our lives right and walk closer with you. Oh Father, I'm thanking you for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to come down on this cruel world to Show us how to live, to show us how to love. And taking upon the cross, becoming sin, who do no sins, so that our sins may be washed away in his blood. Oh, Father, we pray for you, Valdi, Texas situation. We pray that you conquer them. We pray for the Russia, Ukraine situation, Father. We pray, Father, that Mr. Putin find love in his heart and stop all the innocent killings and the bummings. Oh, Father, 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 we pray, we pray for the, the world in which we live in. Father, we pray. We pray, Father, that first of all, we recognize this world stands in our distance. From you, Father, we pray that we as Christians may shine our light in hoping to convince some of us to accept your Son and to be in his kingdom. Oh, Father, Father, we pray for those who have lost loved ones. Father, we pray that you comfort them. We pray, Father, for those who have lost loved ones at the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them. We pray for the family who has husband, wife, father, mother, on the police force, they gave their lives in the line of duty. Father, we pray that you come in. Father, we pray for all of our political leaders. Father, don't be divided, but Father, we pray that they never call forbidding us from worshiping you. Oh, Father, 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 we pray, we pray, we pray, Father. For the church once again, we pray, Father, that the church can always be a lighthouse, being others to Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, 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 we just pray for all of our listeners this morning. Yes, we do. Father, we pray for their shortcomings. We pray for all their doubts and fears. Cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea where they won't be surface anymore. Oh, Father, Father, we pray for our program this morning. Stand from the Word. Father, help us to keep the fine program on the air. Help us, Father, keep on chatting about your word and from your word. Father, help us with the message today, the rock of our salvation. Help us, Father, that we may say something, that we may help someone that's trying to make heaven their home. And Father, we pray for those that, that go through some trials, that go through some trouble, that lost loved ones, and those that try to make a difference in the world when it comes the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Father, always keep us encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. I want to thank you, first of all, for reading our scripture checks along with us, for praying along with us, and as always, we hope that we pray for something that was on your mind. All right, all right. We'll be right back with the second half after these messages. Hey, 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 we're back. Yes, we are. We are back, and we're so delighted uh, to be with you and to bring on this program this time in the morning. And we know for some, it's hard for you to get up and listen to us, but just, hey, give us a try in the morning so that you may be revived and ready to 
show the world Christ in you. Uh, and of course, at this time, we're going to ask for your contribution. If you can give us a contribution to keep this fine program going and going, it would be a beautiful thing. And if you want to send your proceeds, we do have a count on PayPal. Just pull up the PayPal webpage, page, go to paypal.com, and put in the email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York 343 at gmail.com. And again, that's Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to Zelle, Z E L L E. Again, put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Again, that is Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. And if you can send in your proceeds, uh, your contributions today, please do it today so that uh, we can pay our bills here on Chatty from the Word. Amen and amen. My friend, do you like us? Well, we hope that you do like us. We hope that you do. Well, on our speaker platform, where we're coming on live at this time, it is a place where you can put your like. But if you love us, be our next follower on our speaker uh, platform. And we're also coming live on YouTube. We are live on YouTube at this moment. And if you're listening live to us on YouTube, give us a thumbs up. But if you love us, subscribe to our YouTube station. And when you subscribe to our YouTube station, hit the notification bell so they may notify you each time we are bringing on an episode. And we also are tweeting Tweety live on Twitter this morning. And if you listen to us through our Twitter station, we would love to thank you and leave us a comment or two. And we also are tumbling, tumbling on Tumblr this morning. And if you listen to us to our Tumblr station, we appreciate that. But leave us a comment or two. And as I continue on saying, our Facebook page live isn't up yet, but we, we're working on it. We're going to get it up one of these days. One of these days, I hope. <laughs> amen and amen. But my friend, you do not need to wait until we share a show with you, because we're on many of your internet networks. We're on Podvine, that's P-O-D-V-I-N-E, Podvine, on Podium.com, RG, Music Download, VLC, Lake, Ocelon, Chrome Bellevue, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, PowerPlayer.net, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Parchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Podcast Addict, Spreaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire to direct click, visit your Google Play or App Store. And, and once you uh, and download Spreaker Podcast app, and once you find Speaker Podcast app, look us up. And once you look us up, chatting from the word hosted by Oscars, put us in your favorite so that you will not miss not one episode. Amen and amen. And we will appreciate that very, uh, very, very much. Amen and Amen. Hey, hey, what are you listening to? What are you listening to? What are you listening to? Well, Brother Oscar, everybody's listening to your program, Chatting from the Word. And I'm your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Spreaker platform, where we're chatting about the Word, from the Word, and putting that all-important snap, snap, 
all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian wall. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we are so, so delighted to do just, just that. And we hope that you love us here on Chatting from the Word. Now, you know it's almost time for, correct? It's almost time for our chat. We're going to be chatting today. Yes, we are. This is Monday. Now, our philosophy has to get comfortable here. <laughs> and this is Monday, and we are going to chat up the Word of God today. Are you ready to chat about the Word of God this morning? Oh, you know, we chat about everything else, don't we? We chat about everything else. Well, the best thing or the best person we can chat about is God's Word, which is Jesus Christ. John 1, 1 and 2 and 3. John 1. Christ is the Word. And the Word, my friend, this morning is the best thing we can talk about or chat about. Because the Word can give you life. Everything else is seeking ground. Think about that. The Word of, of God, which is Christ, can give you life abundantly and everlastingly. And we're getting ready to chat about him pretty soon. We'll be talking about, of course, our brother Paul letter that he wrote to the Corinthian church. And my friend, if you want to hear the chat, keep your ears on and stay tuned. And we'll be right back with the chat after these messages. Hey, we're here. We're here. We're back. We're back. And we're ready to chat with you about the Word of God. Brother Oscar is trying to get comfortable here so that we can talk. Are you ready to talk about the Word of God this morning? Because that's all we do. We're talking. We're chatting. Because I love chatting with you. I really do. That's what we call our program, Chatting from the Word. And if you were with me in the beginning, uh, I say about ten years ago, we used to call it chatting from the chatting from the chair. We were chatting uh, from the chair, but we changed it and we call it, it chatting from the word. We changed it maybe so so long ago, <laughs> almost again. <laughs> but we're chatting from God's word this morning, and we hope that you have a copy of God's word. Go get it. If you don't have a copy of God's Word, go get a copy of God's Word. I'll pull it up on your phone or whatever so that you can study along with us or chat along with us about the Word of God this morning. Because we're just, we're just chatting this morning and not saying that Brother Oscar is the smartest cookie in the world, but we're studying God's Word. And I think the best thing we can do is to study His Word. And I'd be amiss if I don't say this. Here on Chatty from the Word, we just don't teach, we just don't preach. But what we do, we chat about the Word of God. We don't want to talk under you or over you, but we want to talk with you this morning. Is that all right? We want to reason with you when it comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I believe this, I believe anyone can be reasoned with. And I'm going to always say this. If we can reason with our pet dog Rolo to roll over, we should be able to reason with one another when it comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ. But many still want to say that the, that the, the, that the biggest thing that we argue about or disagree about is politics and religion. Now I can understand politics, but religion, when the word had been pinned down so long ago, why should we argue with that when we have the word printed, wrote by inspired men? Why should we 
argue about it. The only thing we need to do is to follow it. And I believe the mistake that many of us have when we study God's Word, we won't put us in the study. But what we need to do at times is to remove us and what we think. We remove us and to accept what God's Word is saying to each and every one of us. But some of us, that's hard to do. You know that? Some of us, we find it hard to remove self in our studies and to truly listen to what the Word of God is saying to us. Yes, we are. Yes, we do. We find it hard. But this morning, that's what we're going to do. Brother Oscar is not putting himself in this. He is reading exactly what God's Word is saying. And we're coming from, of course, the first letter that Brother Paul Penn uh, uh, wrote to the Corinthian church. And this is a vital message for us today to adhere to. A vital message for us today to adhere to. And if you've been studying with us, we already covered a whole lot of, uh, of the rock of our salvation. And no mistake about who's the rock according to the scriptures of our salvation, which is Jesus Christ. He is definitely the rock of our salvation. And we need to accept that. A lot of us don't want to accept Christ as our rock. We want to accept everything and everybody else being the rock except Jesus Christ. And I don't know, I know many of y'all that say, oh, Brother Oscar, you don't know what you're talking about. No, I may not know, but as long as I'm reading God's word, and Paul himself said he's the rock, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not worried about what anybody else says. As long as I can see and read it for myself in God's word, sometimes my eyes go dim, but I, I know what it says. <laughs> okay? And now we're talking, or uh, chatting about 1 Corinthians 10. And let's, oh, let's read again verse 10. Well, Apostle Paul said, Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed by the destroyer. As you can remember, we covered that. We went to Numbers uh, 21, 4 to 9, and we've seen how they were complaining, complaining. After seeing the, 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 the goodness of God, they begin to complain. They begin to loft the, 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 the light bread that they was eating. A lot of us, we do that, don't we? We begin to complain, especially when things are not going our way. We begin to complain, especially if we're not blessed as we believe we need to be blessed. So what we do, we start murmuring to God. We start saying, God, why? Why I'm this way? Why I'm that way? Why I don't have this? Why I don't have that? What we need to do is stop murmuring and accept the blessing that is before us. I remember a song a long time ago used to say, count your blessings instead of seek. A lot of us need to count our blessings, and when we start recognizing our blessing, we will recognize we are some blessed folks around here, and we don't have nothing to murmur about. Nothing at all to murmur about. But we do. Oh, my friend, if you have cold shelter and food, you are blessed. If you have, let me repeat that. If you have cold, clothes, shelter, and food, you are blessed. Anything else is a great blessing. <laughs> if Brother Oscar can put it like that. If you are blessed with food, clothing, 
and a roof over your head. You're blessed. And men is not blessed with that. And men, well, men do say, as long as I'm blessed to get up in the morning, I'm blessed. If God give you a chance to get up in the morning and start your day, that's a blessing. But many of us, we just want to murmur and murmur like they did. And they was destroyed. If you're wondering why so many diseases in the world today, oh, we are, like I said the other day, we, we always want to uh, blame God. Why God? Why God? But look at what we're doing to God. But we want to blame God for everything that happens negative. We can't blame God. It's we when we don't obey God. That's why I'm so glad that I bring this program on to you as I do, chatting from the Word, so that we can chat up God's Word. Because many, many people are not going to tell you that. Many uh, preachers are not going to tell you why things are happening today because of us, not because of God. And we need to stop blaming God for every little thing. We always say, why God? Why God I don't have this? Why God I don't have that? But in reality, you have it. The only thing you need to do is look around. You'll be blessed. Think about other countries and other nations that are not as blessed as we are here in the U.S. of A. Just think about their position. Think about little babies that's going hungry. They have them eight in days. They're going through malnutrition. Think about them. Think about people that have to run because of bombings and wars are happening in that neighborhood. Oh, my friend, if you live, if you're living in a good neighborhood, but there's no bombings and, and stuff, you are blessed. Yes, you are. I admit that the world we live in today, anything can happen. I admit people going crazy with these uh, guns and killing up people. I admit all that is occurring. But my friend, what we need to recognize that God already has blessed us and recognize his blessing and stop all the murmuring. A lot of us forget what Christ did over 2,000 years ago. What God did over 2,000 years ago by sending his only begotten son down here to die on the cross for you and for me. God did that. He loved us so much that he did that. And Christ, God's son, loved us so much, he took upon him the cross and became sin. Oh, my friends, like I said, we, we just like Israel. Israel began to murmur. When God brought them across the Red Sea on dry land, Israel began to murmur and begin to talk against God and Moses. And we do that today, don't we? We need to stop doing that and recognize our blessing. Recognize the goodness of God. Recognize how blessed we are, really are. And in verse 11, Paul says these words. Now all these things happen unto them for, for examples. It says examples, but some say examples. But we want to use examples. And they are written for our admonition. Admonition just means instructions are for our learning. Okay? Upon whom the ends of the world are come. All the policy that we can look back. What they did a long time ago. And let that be a lesson for us to learn. That what what they did and God what God did to them because of sin. We need to let that be a lesson to us. And like I said, don't you wonder why things are occurring like they're doing? I'm not talking about being perfect. But what I'm talking about.
talking about being in Jesus Christ. And we all can be in Jesus Christ of salvation all lives. God doesn't care if you're perfect, imperfect. God doesn't care if you're a sinner, no sinner. God don't care if you're perfect or non-perfect. God wants you to be in his body with salvation lives. He doesn't care if you're a prostitute. He doesn't care if you're a pimp. He wants you to be in his church with salvation lives. He wants you to be in a place of salvation where you can begin your walk toward heaven. Like I said, my friend, none of us are perfect, all perfect. And we all are saved by grace. We all have hang-ups. We all have desires. We all have sin. But the difference is, are you in the body of Christ? That makes a difference. And then Paul says in verse 12, Therefore, let him that, that think he can take heed lest you fall. Oh, my friend, grace, grace, and grace. If it would not been, be for grace, where would we be? If God never sent his son down on the cross, to die on the cross, to bring salvation in, to bring salvation down, to show us how to live, to show us how to love, what would we be today? Grace. Without grace, there would be no salvation. Without grace, we still be, be living back in the old times after offering sacrifices of bulls and goats. Without grace, where we would be, many of us would not be saved. Many of us would not be saved. Especially the Gentile nation. <laughs> I feel like that. It would not have been for the grace of God. Bring all of us together in one. And that is in his body. In the body. In the body of Christ. In the body of Christ. And then he said, take heed. Lest you fall. In other words, what Paul is saying, we need to take heed to ourselves. Anybody can fall. Anybody can sin. Anybody can fall short of God's glory. And the, the secret is, we all have sin. You, me, and we're all going to continue on sinning. You and me. But the important thing is that we are in a place where there is forgiveness. We're in the place where salvation lies. We in the place, we are in the palm of God's hand with his being in Jesus Christ. And my friend, if you are in Jesus Christ, we have nothing to worry about. But what we need to do when we fall short, get right back on the horse and ride. Just say, Father, Father, in Jesus' name, forgive me. And repent of your sins. And he will be just to forgive you. Because he said he would. Our Lord, he does not lie. If he say he will forgive you, he will forgive you. But first you must be in the body of Christ. You must allow, you must be dipped, you must be ducked, you must be immersed, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Emerge in the water of the grave of baptism where you contact his blood. And when God sees the blood, oh my God, when he sees the blood. We're going to end it there. Next, maybe tomorrow, we're going to be talking about temptation. Because I believe verse 13 says this. He said, Thou had no temptation taken you, but such, such as is common to man. But God is faithful will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are above that you are able, but will with temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. What we're talking about tomorrow, we're talking about temptation. 
What is temptation? When are we are tempted? And God, Paul said, God will make a way. God will make a way where we are not. We're not talking about sin, but we are we are not tempted. So that's what we're gonna be talking and chatting about tomorrow. And if you want to hear that chat, join us tomorrow here on Daddy from the Word. That's your message for today. We give it to you. We hope that you can add it to your life, and we hope that you can grow in Jesus Christ. Bye. Amen. And amen. And we'll be right back with the closing after these messages. Hey, 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 we are back, we are back, and we thank you for allowing us to come into your home, uh, or your job, while you're jogging, in the gym, or uh, wherever you're listening to us this morning. We thank you for allowing us to be a part of your day, and we thank you for being a part of our day this morning, or this morning, and we hope that you have you had your ears on listen to us live? And you all who did who did listen to us live, we want to thank you and we want to say we love you so much for listening to us live. And we hope that we said something to help you this morning. Because all we're doing here on Chatting from the Word is trying to help someone that's having trouble trying to stay on the righteous road to heaven, okay? And that is our mission, and that is our goal here on Chatting from the Word. And you all who did not listen to us live, if you, if you slept in and just didn't want to roll over and say Chatting from the Word, I just get it on your phone or laptop or tablet, uh, you can always... Hey, pull up the web page, uh, the uh, internet networks that we called out in this program. Now, we all call, we already called them out. That's the reason I called them out because you can go to these fine internet networks that we are broadcasting the program to, and you can hear it after the fact, okay? After the fact, if you not get up early enough to listen to us doing it, doing the program, okay? So we hope that you catch us. We really do. And then once you listen to it, share it, share it, and share it. Tell others about us here on Chatting from the Word. Again, we want to thank you for being part of our morning. And again, we want to thank you for allowing us to come into your home or your job or wherever you may be to teach and to preach and to chat about the Word of God. And as always, it was nice for us to be able to put that all-important snap, snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk. Amen and amen. And snap. And ah. <laughs> Let us pray. Our Father, we join heaven. Allow be thy name. Thy kingdom is here. Thy will has been done. Father, we thank you for this opportunity that you've given all of us to come together and to uh, praise, praise you and to hear a lesson, a chat from your word. Father, we pray for all of our listeners. We pray that they have a wonderful, prosperous, and a beautiful day today, and allow them of Christ to be seen in them. Now, may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest through and abide with us all until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen. And a, a, and as always, 
love somebody, love everybody. Bye-bye, and may God bless.